It's not just in neonatal care where robots are pulling their weight. Inside the Pittsburgh Hospital, there's more than just patients and staff walking the halls. Say hello to Tug, an automated delivery robot designed to move medical supplies, linens, and even patients' meals around the hospital. Athon has developed uh, this technology. It's an autonomous mobile robot. It's a robot that can travel uh, inside a facility on its own. It does not require the infrastructure uh, that other types of vehicles might require in order to navigate. So it's completely autonomous. It can travel down hallways, communicate with uh, its environment, ride elevators, open doors. It's a very uh, efficient and affordable and reliable technology that we've developed for the uh, internal logistics, if you will, in facilities, particularly in hospitals. The system uses software that allows both scheduled and on-demand delivery, letting end users like doctors and nurses place trays within TUG and have them transported throughout the building. The robot utilizes a variety of sensor modalities, laser scanners and IR sensors. Uh, in order to sense its environment, uh, it knows where it's at. Fitted with a biometric fingerprint scanner and capable of carrying more than a thousand pounds at a time, the machine's no lightweight. But that doesn't mean he can't play well with colleagues. As the robot navigates uh, through the hospitals, it does make people aware of what it's doing. So there are uh, certain uh, voice commands that it will uh, say as it travels. If somebody gets in its way, it'll kindly ask them to move aside. As it's waiting for an elevator, it'll tell people it is waiting for an elevator. But the technology really tries to work uh, within the, the institution. And whilst Tug might lack the human touch, you'd be wrong if you thought that would prevent it from storming other markets too. When you think of all the things that move within a hospital today, it's quite inefficient. It's done very manually, as it's always been done, people pushing carts. Today, there are over 400 robots that we have actually installed here in the United States uh, in over 100 hospitals. And we're beginning to get a lot of global uh, attention as well. We now have robots operating in Europe as well as Australia. We're, we're going to uh, continue to grow globally with this technology. And what about the cost of TUG and impacts on existing jobs? The company says that's really not something most organizations and even employees will worry about. There are definitely applications where robots are more suited uh, for the work than humans. You really want to use robots in jobs that people don't want to do or people can't do or, or really people shouldn't do. So when you look at people pushing heavy carts. Do you really want them doing that? Uh, probably not. And in a hospital setting, you don't want clinicians like nurses, technicians, doing tasks that are uh, delivery tasks. I mean, they're trained to do uh, what I call more high-touch patient care activities, and that's what you want your clinicians doing. Meaning this medical robot looks set to keep on tugging, pulling the industry forward.